Hello guys, welcome back to the class. In the earlier classes, you have seen how to install web servers by installing web server applications on Windows Server 2019 and Windows 10 computer that is Windows hyphen PC one. Now we have a Windows servers in our lab environment. But if you see in real world, most of the servers are installed on Linux operating systems, right? So it is a time to set up a Linux server in our lab environment and exploit the server and its applications to practice our lab sessions. And in order to achieve our requirement, there is a tool called Metasploitable. It is an excellent tool that is developed by Rapid7 Metasploit team. And Metasploitable is a virtual machine that is based on Ubuntu Linux and is intentional vulnerable operating system designed for security testing and of course exploiting the vulnerabilities so that we can practice, you and me can practice known and zero day exploits on the Linux boxes. Metasploitable as said is developed by Rapid7 Metasploit team and can be installed both on VirtualBox and VMware as well. The image of Metasploitable that is the virtual image of Metasploitable can be downloaded from Rapid7 the website as you can see link over here. So in this class we will learn how to download and install Metasploitable 2 and the introduction to Metasploitable and with this class the lab setup module has not yet finished you heard correct we are yet to build sophisticated lab like real world corporate enterprise network so let's start dancing with metasploit this is the website of rapid7 and you can read about the metasploitable 2 a test environment provides secure platform to perform penetration testing and security research and you need a metasploitable instance instance means a virtual machine and that can access a virtual target and of course you can read the entire content that is there in this page you can download the metasploitable from the links over here metasploitable 2 is available at information.rapid7.com metasploitable hyphen download.html click on the link or else you can go to google.com in your favorite browser and type metasploitable 2 hit enter and you should see the rapid7 hyperlink over here click on it download metasploitable intentionally vulnerable machine click on it and it will redirect to information.rapid7.com download metasploitable 2017 and even here it is the same page that was redirected when we clicked this link it was the same page that was redirected to now type your details over here now click on submit button now this is the link where you can download the Metasploitable. You have now registered on Metasploit. So it is a thank you page for registering for Metasploit. And it is a community of 200,000 members with the average of 1.2 exploits added every day. For now we will click on the download Metasploitable now. Since I have already downloaded, I will show the zip file which I have downloaded. So Metasploitable 2 comes in a zip file and you need to extract the zip file. Right click and click on the extract files. Click OK to extract the zip file. Zip file extraction is complete. Let me double click to open this folder and let me double click again to open. So we have a couple of files. So this is the file with blue cube icon is the file we are interested in. This file is a virtual instance of Metasploitable 2 which means virtual hard disk with Metasploitable OS installed. We have to use this file to set up the Metasploitable in the virtual box. So let me open the virtual box. Click start button and click on virtual box. Virtual box manager has opened. Now you have to create a new machine as you have created a Kali Linux or Windows PC. So click on new and type the name of the operating system that is Metasploitable 2. The type of operating system is Linux and the version is Ubuntu 64 bit because it is Ubuntu based operating system and 1 GB RAM is sufficient for this operating system. So 1024 MB is fine. And instead of create a virtual hard disk now, you have to use the third option, use the existing virtual hard disk file. The VDMK file which you have seen in the folder is a virtual hard disk file which you have tooped over here. So select the third option, use an existing virtual hard disk file. 
click on the folder to locate the file and add to the medium. So these are all the virtual files that we have created while installing the operating systems. Now we have to add the VEDMK file. So let me so let me click on the add button. Go to downloads, ISO files, Metasploitable, Metasploitable 2, and this is the file we need to add to the medium. Select the Metasploitable VMDK file and click on open. Now the VMDK file which is Metasploitable 2 has been added to our medium. Select the file and click on choose. Click on create. That's it. Now click on settings. There is nothing much over here to change. Remove the floppy. Display is fine. Storage is fine. We don't need any virtual ISO to mount in this empty CD because we already have VMDK file. Under network, let's choose from NAT to bridge adapter. That's it. Click on OK. And click on the start button to start the installation of Metasploitable 2. Let me maximize the screen. So that's it guys. Installation of Metasploitable 2 is complete. Now we have to log in into this machine and the default credentials as you can see over here are MSF admin and MSF admin. That is both username and password is MSF admin. So let me type the login as msf admin hit enter and the password is msf admin as well so guys we have successfully logged into metasploitable 2 so let me type who am i command i am msf admin and pwd that is a print working directory so i am in root home and msf admin folder and let me type ip config IP config IP con FIG enter come or not found sorry that was IF config so my IP address is 192.168.1.109 let me start my Kali machine so now I am on my Kali Linux machine so let me open the terminal from the top taskbar this is the terminal And let me type ifconfig as well. If config 192.168.1.197. So let me ping the IP address of Metasploitable. Ping It's 109, sorry. It's 109. And now we can see the ICMP echo replies. To the ping command, we have fired for 192.168.1.109. It means that network connectivity is good. And we can use Kali or any other systems to conduct penetration testing on this machine. Let me open the Metasploitable using the browser as well. Control C to cancel. Close the terminal and open the browser. Click on the browser icon to open the browser. Now let me type the IP address in the browser URL. 192.168.1.109 Yes, Metasploitable 2 page has opened. And warning, never expose this VM to untrusted network. And we have couple of links over here. Twiki, PHP MyAdmin, Mutility, DVWA and WebDev. You have already seen DVWA that is damn vulnerable web application. So let me click on DVWA and you can see the login of DVWA that is damn vulnerable web application. As you know the password is admin and password is password. Admin and pass word. Yes, now you can log into the damn vulnerable web application. Let me log out. So click on the log out. And let me go back to the IP address 192.168.1.109 that is Metasploitable and hit enter. Now we have Wiki, PHP, MyAdmin, 
Mutilide and DBW that you have seen and WebDAB. So Twiki is yet another Wikipedia like web application and it is based on Perl programming language and PHP MyAdmin. PHP MyAdmin is a small software tool that is used to manage databases of MySQL and MariaDB. In the last video you have seen installation of XAMPP and you have also hosted a website on the XAMPP server and when you have hosted a dynamic website you will use PHP MyAdmin software tool to create databases for the websites that you are going to create and host on the XAMPP servers and next we have Mutilide so let me click on the Mutilide and this is the Mutilide website and it is yet another vulnerable website just like your DBWA to which you have already been introduced and next we have WebDev so what is a WebDev? WebDev that is WebDAV stands for Web Based Distributed Authoring and Versioning it is an extension to HTTP protocol and allows users to edit and manage files remotely on the web servers and since we are using WebDev for managing files on remote server it doesn't mean that it is FTP server both are a bit different so basically what WebDev does is it enables web server to act like a file server so let me click on the WebDev so we have nothing in the dev folder we have a couple of vulnerabilities to exploit WebDev as well that we will see in this course so let me go back and that's it guys this is the installation of vulnerable ubuntu based virtual machine that is metasploitable 2 and we will practice exploiting certain vulnerabilities on this machine as well using our kali linux or parrot operating system that's it in the class guys have a great day thank you for watching the video and do subscribe to the youtube channel insectx